shop. Uh, this quick little project here, I'm going to turn a pipe, a tobacco pipe, and see if I can do it in live time. If not, uh, I will post how long it took. Right now it is 8.39 p.m. Let's get started. <laughs> cylinders cut out. I'm going to go ahead and start making the uh, mouthpiece right here. piece is pretty much shaped. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and make a taper down for where the bowl area is going to be. So there it's starting to build its shape. I'm going to uh, trim off a straight edge on the end here so I know where to cut off when I take it off the lathe. So have to be careful I don't hit these uh, metal prongs. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and sand that. Next thing to do is slow the lathe down because um, what I'm going to be doing is I'm sanding. Uh, quick sanding is okay on a high speed, but I find you get the best results on a slow speed. Spirits. <laughs> My dog wants me to throw the ball, I think. It's looking good. I'll just dry it off. Find the dry spot of the rag. Okay, well there you have it. I got a pipe, cut the end off, 
cut the end off, drill a hole through, put a uh, hole in here, 5 eighths about, and you got yourself a pipe. Here's the finished product. Okay, for the next part of the pipe, uh, I'm going to cut off the ends. To do that, i got to secure the piece so that I can cut it properly. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in the vise. Not too hard, it's green wood, so I can't you can actually squish the green wood and flatten it. But it's gotta be hard enough to hold it steady though. So it left a nice clean cut off, and I'll do the same thing on the other end. Okay, I'm going to put a glove on so that I can hold the piece better. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be drilling down here. Now in order to start the drill so it doesn't wander and slide and, and move, I'm going to go ahead and hit a, a punch right to the middle. Okay, so it makes starts a little hole. I'll do the same thing on the other side. Now I'm going to drill a hole straight through. What I'm going to do is I start on one end and I'm going to do it as straight as I can by eye. And I go about halfway through, flip it around and go through the other way. I got a hole straight through. And now I have a hole straight through it. From there, I'll switch out my bit on my drill. This here is a 5 8 bit. Just whatever uh, fits nice. 5 eighths fits a little screen perfectly. I like to look for the nicest grain and, and make it so that that's on top. So I'll put it right here. Again, I don't want it to wander, so I'm going to just put a little divot. Not as hard of a divot in this one. Have a punch. The reason why is the Forstner bits. Uh, they have a nice little prick on the end there. These are really good bits. If you're into woodworking, you have to have these. So I'll get a little bit in the hole. Take a look at the hole. It's uh, it needs to go a little deeper there. Once you get through, once you get through and you can see the hole that I put through on the top, I can see it on the bottom. That's where I want to stop. I'm going to go ahead and just take out all the little shards of wood from in there. You can do that by blowing through. You can use the rod, the drill bit, push them through, and uh, just blow through it. And there you go. Got yourself a pipe. I'm going to sand down these edges of this here with a file 
and then go on the uh, belt sander and sand down the end here and this end. Just to make them round and soft on the mouth. There's little soft spots see, where there's a, like a gap between the, this flat bed and the wheel. There's a little soft spot right there. I'm going to use that because it gives better. <laughs> Gonna clean off these two edges with uh, these edges with sandpaper. Just want to soften them up. I don't, just don't want them sharp. It just gives it final step. Have a look. Is some beeswax. Soak it in beeswax. This is a little finish that I made. Uh, to get the beeswax softer, I melted it in a uh, double boiler and mixed it with, um, oh boy, what did I mix it with? Not mineral spirits, mineral oil. So you can actually eat this, you can eat this finish and it's just It'd be fine. It wouldn't taste good, but might make you crap. And there you have it. So I cut the 5 8 hole in the top, put a drill bit through. I uh, forget the size of that. It's, uh, I'll, I'll get back to the size. Put a little screen on the bottom of these. They're ready to go. Uh, this is maple, and it's just a tree that I cut out. I cut out a tree, cut down a tree there. Uh, it was uh, broken down from a storm, so I made some pipes out of one of the branches. Um, bearded woodworker suggested that I take a coat hanger and heat it red hot and put it inside, and I could burn all the little frillies out from the drill piece, from the drill bit. And I think I'll do that next time. I, just, I don't want to use my actual drill bit to heat up, uh, so I'm going to find some, like a coat hanger or something like that. Uh, so I'll do that next time, but for now, got ourselves a couple pipes.